Cataractcoach.com Resident Double Rexes Technique. It's a great way to avoid the anterior capsule runout. And let's show you the case here. So it's a senior resident doing this case. We sped up the whole video to three times normal speed so we can get through it all. Tripan blue dye going in the eye. A second paracentesis to make life easy. Let's get a good fill of the viscoelastic. Here's our dispersive viscoelastic. You want a good fill and you want to get that pressure up. Now, with the cystotome through the other side port, making a small little rexus, make that baby rexus. Now, this is just the first rexus. And there it is. Now we can rock that nucleus around and we can release any trapped fluid. If there is any, this case doesn't look like there's too much lens milk. But that first rexus being made only with the cystotome and only via the para, and that's so that we can keep the AC pressure high. The goal is the pressure in the anterior chamber should be higher than the pressure within the capsular bag. So now this uh, rexus can be enlarged, so nicked there with the forceps, and now the resident can create a nice five millimeter rexus. So let's see how that goes. She is doing a great job here. This resident is uh, one that I admire very much because she worked so incredibly hard to improve her skills. And so this is probably about case 50 or 40 in her training. So there's the rexus going around nicely, taking her time to do a good rexus. That BSS cannula, the squirt bottle cannula, that's me pointing things out for, giving her some advice and finishing it up. That's a really nice looking rexus. Golly, I like it. So how did I section? Remember, be cautious because you can't see the fluid wave going across. So just a little bit at a time and there the nucleus rotates just fine. So let's see the technique that we're gonna use here. So this resident's gonna use the FACO probe making a central trench looks like. All right, so a groove down the middle, maybe a stop and chop technique. Stop and chop I think is a very nice, useful technique. It's a great resident thing to learn because then it'll be relatively easy to transition towards straight chop or quick chop. So nice grooving there, nice central groove being made. Notice how the angle is correct. Remember the cataract's like an M&M candy, thicker in the middle, thinner on the periphery. And let's see the split. Good split, let's see, is it, nope, didn't propagate through yet. Nope, then we're gonna get some help from the other side. There we go, there's a split. Again, a little bit of fibrous nature to this, make sure it's fully separated. That was great, that was uh, probably me going through the other side port. And now, here's the first half of the nucleus being brought up, and it's going to be chopped. So again, stop and chop technique. There you go, a little bit of help there to bring that piece up. Now the chopper, is gonna help break this into smaller pieces and that can just be emulsified pretty easily. And then the other half, of course, is much easier to chop because there's a lot more working room. So buzz into the FACO Pro, bring that piece up and let's get around the equator, buzz into it. Remember, on the FACO chop, you wanna chop in the highest vacuum. So when you start buzzing into the piece and you hear the vacuum go up, you wanna have ye chopped. You don't want ye chopped. Think about what I just said. You want to chop at the highest vacuum, the peak of the vacuum, because that's the most holding power. So when you include on the piece, e chop. But if you hear the vacuum pitch already starting to drop, e you don't want to chop there because you don't have the holding power. So we'll start to feature more videos here with audio. We just have to make sure we do that in an appropriate manner. There are actual laws that uh, govern audio recording versus video recording. Video is actually the easier one to record. And uh, certainly all the patients that we feature here on Cataract Coach have given their consent for videotaping the surgery. So cleaning up the capsule bag pretty nicely. I like this case. I'm gonna finish this case up just very smoothly. Nice splitting of that transformer eye handpiece. And now this patient's gonna have just a beautiful result. Think about the pre-op acuity with that white cataract patient who's probably at best count fingers at a foot, maybe even hand motion. And you've got the ability now to magically give that patient clear vision the next day. That's, a, that's really a, a, a miracle of modern medicine. So this double rexus technique, an important thing to learn. This case was not too intumescent of the cataract, so there wasn't a lot of lens milk. But remember, those intumescent fluid-filled capsular bags, that's how you get that run out. And you wanna avoid that. That's that Argentina flag side. Here comes the lens going in the eye. Single piece of acrylic lens will get that delivered nicely into that capsule bag. And now we can see what size the Rexus was because we know that's a six millimeter optic. 
I should look at the dilation. Looks like the dilation's slightly under six millimeters. Maybe that Rexus is just about five. So very nicely done. Now, should you spend a lot of time polishing up that capsule bag? Listen, certainly get out as much of the lens material as you can, as many lens epithelial cells as you can. But there's a balance here. Don't break the capsule bag. And just think of the patient's delta, the delta, the difference between the before and after vision. If there's a little bit of capsular haze there on the anterior caps rim, I assure you that will not diminish this patient's happiness or, or satisfaction in any way. And when you're learning, we can save some things for further along in the bell curve of learning. So very nice case. Appreciate this resident for uh, doing a beautiful job. And remember the double rexus technique for intumescent white cataracts. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.